Uh, welcome everybody to the 2019 uh, Wakamakam Board of Education Post-Secondary Student Support Services Graduation. That's a mouthful, you should see the acronym. Uh, but welcome everybody, we're here to honor our graduates for the uh, 2019 year. So uh, we're going to welcome them in. So if, uh, I think we stand for this, do we stand for this? No, we can probably just stand It's up to you if you want to stand up, but we're going to welcome our graduates in. And we're going to have our, uh, our singer, Danielle McDonald, uh, to introduce our, or to sing a song while our graduates uh, make their way into the um, auditorium here this morning, this afternoon, or this evening, I mean. It's been a long day. So, are you ready, Danielle? Some of you might know me as the communications officer for the Board of Education here in Okomakong. Others might recognize the voice as the one on the radio, but I'm always honored uh, when people come and ask me to do these kinds of things. So I'm uh, more than happy to be standing up here today. Uh, last time I did the, uh, the post-secondary graduation, I said to the graduates, I'm going to say the same joke I said last year because it was funny. I feel smarter just standing next to you guys. You guys all completed something that I didn't get to do four years of university or college or whatever you guys did. So uh, congratulations to every single one of you for myself before we get into anything else. So uh, I'd like to get a uh, call upon our one of our local elders here, uh, Miss Phyllis Williams, to offer us an opening prayer before we continue. So we can get you guys to stand up again. I know you just uh, sat down, but I'll call it Miss Phyllis Williams. Aha. How many words the things you get? Mandanungu is a good mina beige kapagit no mo young. Mino kenosendre wogato young a king. Mandagin in way with mud the sound. Mino kenege wosa one another mug young. Win sadwain mangain in way mandam mud the wind. Gay when that nungojenda a yajik eske mud the jig. Chickske silk. Hey, no, but no mugs out. Box and army. Genum no massad more at gay no. We meet cut. Me wedge the shitty war, they bench get. Can they give away to young? A me wedge. Me wedge. Me wedge. Me wedge. 
Thank you very much, Phyllis. Uh, now I'd like to call upon our education director uh, to give us a welcoming remarks, uh, Ms. Faye Zokel. Ani, bonjour. Welcome, everybody. Bindi again. I'm so happy to be here to celebrate your successes to our graduates. I want to um, extend a welcome to our chief and council. Let's give them a hand. I also want to extend a welcome to our elders. Um, your advice, your guidance has helped um, not just the students, but also the Wikwanakong Board of Education um, for planning and um, overseeing different activities. So, Miigwech, thank you for being here. I also want to thank our parents, our families who have um, supported our graduates. Uh, the many calls home, um, maybe those moments when you've had to borrow money to <laughs> and help everybody, help your child get through the uh, post-secondary and for the support that you have given. And, and, and I just want to give you a hand too. Thank you. Miigwech. And let's give our, um, our post-secondary graduates a hand because without you there would be no celebration. And I'm so grateful to be here to share in your success. Miigwech. Welcome everybody. All right, Miigwech, Faye. There is a nice little warm, uh, a gift for you there. <laughs> All right, she said something about uh, borrowing money. That doesn't stop. That, that keeps going. Doesn't matter. All right, uh, our Gimma is in the house. Uh, Mr. Duke Pelche is here to give some remarks to for our graduates. So put your hands together for our Gimma, uh, Mr. Duke Pelche. Ani, nagi is gat nangwa. Mami kom nagna akzo mandak akno magziat na nagi is to na kena magi wenge yegajet toat. Iwo yeni hekchenet magi yeni ondama. So good afternoon, everyone. I'm uh, very proud to offer some uh, congratulatory remarks on behalf of the council and the community for the wonderful accomplishments of all the students, well actually not students, graduates. Better use the right word, graduates. So let's give them a great big round of applause. Wow. It's also so uh, reassuring to see that the uh, variety, the variety of the programs that they're graduating from because it's, it's essential to have a, a healthy community, to have that variety available when we're looking for individuals to take on responsibilities, not only in our community, but throughout the Anishinaabeg Nation. I think it's great to see the, the lawyers, the doctors, the soon-to-be doctors, as well as all the, uh, those that are participating in all, all the trades also, because that's also an essential element to uh, having uh, build, and building a community. So I want to say miigwech for all of you for continuing that passion for lifelong learning and uh, to continue on with that because the, the skills that you gain in the academic setting is uh, ones that you're going to be able to transfer into the real world in the working fields that you're going to enter. And I think that the, uh, the, the model that you set for not only yourself but the, your families is one that's going to be important because I remember hearing about the stories um, when I was younger, and coming up through grade school, and our, our community was talking about those that returned to school at a, at a later age, and it just this one just popped into my head for some reason. <laughs> I remember the, uh, the late Kate Sinaway being celebrated for going to school at a, at a late age and attaining her degree. So it's not, it's not too late for many others to also pursue higher education. 
to further their skills because that's that's what we we do as the Schnabek. We continue to learn, and we take all those opportunities to learn not only from within the academic setting, but also from the elders that are here in our community. And I think that um, the supports that are available from our community in that regard are, are ones that are very welcomed. So I think uh, we do have to give a good round of, of applause for all the staff that have um, helped with not only the funding applications, but also the supports that are available to students in, in today's, today's age. Because uh, those, those supports weren't always there. And, and I, I do know that the, the education board here, as well as the council, just uh, actually increased the uh, supports that are available to all the students. So I think that's very welcome for all that are pursuing education. So on behalf of the community, I want to say chimigwech, minawge, so I think it's 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 wonderful to to see that that a kid no that it's it's very healthy here in this community. And there's also another word there that I just uh, thought about, not thought about myself, but I was talking with my mother on our way on a long drive yesterday to Sudbury and back. And we're talking about some of the root words of some of these uh, these words we hear all the time. And one of them is that uh, ke, no maage. So you learn from the land, it's land-based learning is what that is. That's that's what's inherent in us as Nishnabek. But also, you might also hear a naki win. It's the same thing, working on the land, working with the land. So there's a... Uh, just wanted to share that, that little bit with you and, and offer my, my thanks for your continued um, pursuit of higher education and that we look forward to when there is opportunities for employment or entrepreneurship for some of you to uh, grasp it, go for it, aspire towards it because the more that uh, you take matters into your own hands and become responsible and and take on those responsibilities of providing for your families. That's what that's what this is all about. So I want to say Jimmy Wedge from on behalf of the council and on behalf of all the staff that have supported your pursuits. So Jimmy Wedge. Add it to the pile. Uh, miigwech, Gima. Uh, he brought up a th uh, something that uh, I was actually going to touch on before we got into things here this morning. I was talking to Rona. Uh, she is the head of the post-secondary student support services department here for the Board of Education. And she told me that we had 103 graduates this year. 103, the most we've had. And half of them showed up. Half are here today. That's how much we have here today. And uh, she said, I think that's the most that she's ever seen at a graduation ceremony. And I said, well, that's because we told them, if you don't come, you don't get your money. That's why everybody's here, so. Um, we'll continue going on. We've got a lot of stuff to get to today. So uh, we're going to welcome up our valedictorians. So we have two different valedictorians. Uh, one is for the Board of Education, is one is through the Winnegushtot LDM uh, Labor Market Services. But we're going to start with the Board of Education. So the valedictorian for the class of 2019 for the Komakon Board of Education is Ms. Tanis King. I hope you can all hear me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, and most of all, to the graduates. My name is Tannis King, and I am so honored to be speaking to you on this very special occasion. I thought long and hard about what to say in this speech, so I figured I would start by sharing a little bit about myself. Growing up, it was just my mom and I, and when I was a baby, we moved to Saskatchewan, where she opted to continue her own post-secondary education while raising me by herself. My mom shared many special gifts with me, the gift of a strong work ethic, the gift of resiliency, the gift of always believing in myself. She taught me to draw strength from our Anishinaabe culture when faced with difficulties. She taught me to always be proud of who I am and where I come from. 
Current statistics would suggest that I'm not going to make it because I am from a single parent household and I am indigenous. But I don't believe in these statistics. I have seen firsthand the challenges of not having an education and the impact of the social and health inequities that are faced by our people. This is why I use adversity as a motivator for myself. I share this with you all in the hopes that everyone realizes that no matter what stereotypes or statistics are placed on you, you do not have to be defined by them and you can overcome them. One thing that I've learned during my undergraduate and graduate studies is that you have to find the determination to keep going. You have to seize every opportunity and every resource that you can get your hands on to show the world, but most importantly, to show yourself that you're not going to give up and that you're not going to be a statistic. If I could characterize the process of continuing your education, I would describe it as transformative. And this transformation is one that is powerful and beautiful, but it is not always easy. It is not just the coursework that challenges our minds, the long days and the late nights that physically wear us down, or the day-to-day -day worries and financial pressure that characterizes student life. It is also the emotional and spiritual effects of stress while we're just trying to get by. I know the losses that deflate us and the experiences that make us fundamentally question why we're even going back to school to begin with. Yet here we are as graduates, largely due to the love and support of our family and our community and the strength and determination that we inherited from our ancestors. Maybe today you came to this graduation ceremony knowing what your gifts are and knowing how you want to give back to your community. But maybe not, and that's okay too, because learning is not just restricted to post-secondary education. We are here today because we graduated, but this milestone constitutes only a portion of our lifelong learning and our lifelong transformation, because in reality, those two things are never ending. To my fellow graduates, we are now in a position to pass on mentorship and teachings to younger and future generations. We have a responsibility to use the knowledge that we have gained in our post-secondary studies and our Indigenous knowledge to create a better world for our people. I know this seems like a huge responsibility, but you have the support of your family, your friends, your community, and each other. And that, in and of itself, is an important teaching. We are so fortunate to be part of this group of people and this community to help us move forward together. So, Wakwemakon graduates, you are ready to be the change makers and transformers to make this world a better place. I look forward to what you will do in the future as individuals and as members of our community. I wish you well in the exciting journey that you have ahead, and I look forward to what we can create together. Miigwech. I've seen her looking this way the whole time, but she had paper there. She's, that was really impressive. Uh, that was really good, Tonis King. Uh, we do have a gift for you. Oh. So it's right here. It okay. Oh, thank you. To me, Wedge. Good luck with the rest of you. I asked Janet what is the card she gets the wagons at Andy's. No, I think it's probably money. All right, we'll move on to our next valedictorian. Represent or for our, uh, the Winnegut uh, Labor Market Services Program, uh, please put your hands together for Jocelyn Kagige. Hello, everyone. First off, I would like to thank Wakwamekong Development Commission for inviting me here today to speak on behalf of all of us who have graduated this year. The only word I have to describe what we are experiencing right now is fruition. We all planted a seed at the beginning of our academic journeys. And through commitment, patience, hard work, and resilience, that seed has begun to blossom and bloom into a reality. I want to congratulate all of us who have successfully and honorably received our certificates and our diplomas this year. We've made it proudly to the next chapter in our lives, and I want to share a story with you. I was born and raised in Toronto, Ontario, where I have resided my whole life. And growing up in the city gave me a lot of opportunity, but what I did not have there was 
community, culture, or a support system, all of which are very important to us as indigenous people. I had to find all of these things on my own throughout my academic journey. And I understood the impact that colonization and residential school systems had on the health and well-being of our people and how many con communities continue to suffer today. I felt the effects of intergenerational trauma and that inspired me to study holistic nutrition to get to the root cause of our pain by looking at all aspects of health, the mental, the emotional, the physical, and the spiritual, and how they all work together to maintain balance within the body, mind, and spirit. My intention when starting school was to help my family and help my community heal. But being in my program made me realize something. The only person who needed to heal was me. During my first year in college, I did not get approved for funding, but that did not stop me from moving forward with my education. I took the risk and I paid for my own schooling and books. And I put my trust in Creator and I believed that I was exactly where I was supposed to be and that there was something important for me to learn here in this school. My savings were slowly decreasing. I was working in a restaurant, studying and living in my parents' basement. I felt more stressed and unhealthy than ever before. And I realized that there was something lacking in my life. And that was community, it was culture, and not having that support system. I started to fail my courses, and with that came feelings of shame and disappointment. So one morning, I received an email from an organization called Canada World Youth telling me that they were accepting applicants for Indigenous youth to volunteer abroad in a developing country. And without hesitation, I applied for the opportunity. And scared out of my mind, I volunteered in Colombia a month later. And while I was there, I found culture. I learned a new language. I got to develop workshops for Colombian youth in a high school, for women in a shelter, and for youth with disability. At the back of my mind while being in Colombia, I thought of my own culture and my own people. And when I came back to Canada, I did not, I did not have a job or funds to go back to school, but I knew that I was going to find a way. A month later, I moved out of my parents' house and into my very first apartment where I helped and found a job at the Native Canadian Center where I helped develop a small business that gave Indigenous youth employment. I found community, and that led me to reapply for funding with the intention to give back to my community in some way if they approved me, and they did. So thanks to WBC for keeping me accountable in my studies, I was able to go back to school with more stability in the fall of 2017 and finish my last year in college without the worry of having to work a part-time job and with the focus being on my health and well-being. Wiki LDM and the Board of Education gave me the foundation to pursue my goal and graduate, so I would like to thank them for that for being my support system when I truly needed one. And even though I did not grow up on reserve, I am proud of who I am and I am proud of where I come from. I am now a graduate from the Institute of Holistic Nutrition and a certified holistic nutrition practitioner. I currently work at the Native Women's Research Center of Toronto as a client support worker and I'm transitioning to the community wellness worker where I'll be working with women who are fleeing domestic violence and developing workshops on addictions prevention and self-empowerment. Three years ago, when I started my school, I never thought I'd have the leadership or strength to be where I am today. And I am thankful for the experiences, the life lessons, and the stories that brought me here. We need to focus on our health and healing as our number one priority and always be working towards that, to grow, to expand, to evolve, even if we are scared. Be open to new opportunities that come to you because Creator wouldn't give them to you if you weren't ready for them. 
Our family and the generations after us will benefit from us when we are healthy within ourselves. Be aware of the foods you eat, the thoughts you think, and the environments you surround yourself in. We can break this cycle that exists, and many of us are already. I want to give us all a big congratulations on completing our academic journeys. I know how tough it was pulling all-nighters, meeting deadlines, writing 30-page papers, and forcing ourselves to get to class despite what was going on in our personal lives. But we made it to the next chapter, and some of us already have a plan for our next steps. Whether that is continuing our education, finding a job in our field, or we simply have no idea where we are going next, that is okay. We are exactly where we're supposed to be and we need to trust in this journey we are on. There is a quote I heard about a butterfly. When you see it, notice how it lands, and when it begins to flap its wings and fly, you never know which direction it's actually gonna go in. But still, it is flying, it is flowing, and it is beautiful. When you go off into the world after you leave here today, remember that butterfly. Don't worry, stay focused on your main goal, your intentions, your health and your healing, and do what makes you happy in here. Let yourself be open to new beginnings that are among you, and let this universe guide you. We all have such bright futures ahead of us, so let us focus on the possibilities and the positives. Again, congratulations, stay beautiful, stay open, and stay rising. Jimmy Gwetch. Beautiful words, she was trying to give me her speech. <laughs> I like her quote about the butterfly. Uh, though I did see something on the news about the monarch butterfly, so maybe don't think about that one because I think they're going extinct <laughs> or something. All right, uh, we got our valedictorian speeches out of the way. Uh, we are going to move on to honoring our graduates now with an honor song. So if I can ask everybody to stand, please rise, remove your headwear if you can, or stand if you can. And I'm going to call upon uh, Danielle McDonald again to give us an honor song. And after this, we're going to get to uh, the meat of the evening. We're going to hand out uh, all of this wonderful stuff behind us here. So uh, whenever you're ready, Danielle, take it away with the honor song, please.
All right, Jimmy Gwich, Danielle. All right, so we all got the books. You guys got the program, right? Uh, just to let you know, the artist that designed this, her name is Misi Mantuabi. She is a uh, phenomenal, phenomenal graphic artist who uh, works for us at the Board of Education here. She does an amazing job. Uh, before we continue, though, I want to uh, express a uh, big thank you to, first of all, the staff here at the high school, our maintenance staff that put together the stage, all of the seating and stuff, so we give them a round of applause. That's a lot of hard work. And I know uh, our Gimma and our education director touched on it just a little bit, but uh, uh, post-secondary student services is like a lifeline to our graduates and students in post-secondary. And they have a budget which is probably in millions of dollars where they handle tuition and living expenses and everything else for everybody that's in the school. And the last time I checked, I think there was a little over 300 students that you manage. And it takes, and it all, all that work on it are three ladies, three take care of all of that stuff. So a big uh, hats off to Rona, Janet, and Stacy for all the hard work that they do because their work doesn't stop. You guys graduate uh, this week, next week, they're paying tuitions for next year or this coming year. So the work never stops and you guys do an amazing job. So thank you so much. And uh, uh, we didn't go to LDM. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to them too because if it wasn't for that program, I wouldn't be standing where I am today because they helped me 12 years ago to pay for my school and to send me through school too. So I understand how important uh, these kind of programs are and I know that you guys relied on them just like I did. So uh, if we could all just give everybody a big round of applause that uh, made all of this possible for them. But it's a lot of, it is a lot of hard work for sure and it's a whole bunch of people behind you guys. So. Uh, we do have these books. I'm going to be reading through these, all of these names. We're going to be uh, seeing who the graduates are and what they took and where they went to school. And uh, if you hear your name called, we want you to come up here. You're going to get your, uh, your gift bag and whatever they have to give to you and shake hands with whoever your program is. It could be a Board of Education, it could be LDM or when it gets to it. So with that in mind, uh, when it comes to pictures and stuff, everybody needs to be on the ball because there's like almost 60 names here, so if we estimate, if you want to do a minute per name, we'll be sitting here for an hour, so well, if we can get everybody with their cameras and ready, we'll, uh, we'll get through this. So the first name I want to call uh, for the 2018-2019 graduates, well first of all, I actually have to call up the representative from LDM, Winnie Gutschtod. Oh, and Duke and Faye, you guys got to come and shake hands. Okay. All right, so graduates for 2018 2019, our very first name on the list, and it's going to happen the rest of your life, Caitlin. Caitlin Abel, uh, she's a daughter of Bruce and Silly Rickley, program motive, uh, motive power technician at Cambrian College. Uh, next name on the list is uh, Julia Sinaway. Julia Sinaway, you guys are welcome to clap, too. Welcome to clap. Julie uh, took the Bachelor of Science in Nursing at Laurent University and Sioux College. Uh, Trent Boulier Anose, uh, Line Crew Support Program, Cambrian College. Matthew Beam, uh, Business Marketing, Ryerson University. Joshua Bison, he is, uh, took the Welding Level 1 Apprentice at Cambrian College. Next on the list, Jonas Bondi. He is a plumber, level two apprentice uh, through Georgian College. Uh, Genevieve Borg. Uh, she is taking the Bachelor of Science Chemistry Honors at the University of Guelph. Uh, Buljold Tiena, or Tiena Buljold, practical nursing at Georgian College. Mike Burke, <laughs> uh, welding, level one, level two apprentice, Cambrian College. Scott Burke. Oh my god, I'm talking too fast, sorry. Scott Burke. Pl no, no. Plumber. Uh, level 2 Apprentice, Algonquin College. Scott Burke. His name is highlighted here, that means he's here. No? Okay, moving on. Uh, Jeremiah Cooper. Uh, basic Constable Training Program, Ontario Police College. John Cooper. John Cooper, Indigenous Wellness and Addictions Prevention. Panador College. Justice Lee Cooper. 
Dental Hygiene, Cambrian College. Brandon Davey, Automotive Service Technician, a level two apprentice, Loyalist College. Uh, Tanya Desmolin Taylor, Heavy Equipment Operator. We have a dog in here now. What do you graduate from? Yeah, for those of you who haven't been to Wakumakong in a long time. Yeah. Uh, what do we have here? Um, Alvin Anose. Alvin Anose. Program AZDZ Truck Driver Training Program at the Transport Training of Canada. Alvin Anose. Michael Eshkabak. Mental Health and Addictions, First Nations Technical Institute. Kenneth Fitzsimmons, Heavy Equipment Operator Program, Transport Training Center of Canada. Hannah Fox, Occupational Therapist Assistant, Physiotherapist Assistant at Canada College. Hannah Fox. Josh Fox, Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning Technician, Cambrian College. Carleen Fox. Carlene Fox, Basic Constable Training Program, Ontario Police College. Carlene Fox in Elmer, Ontario Police College in Elmer. Oh, she's graduated. Oh, that's why she's not here. All right, uh, Savannah Fox. Savannah Fox, uh, Community and Justice Service through Cambrian College. Savannah Fox. Emily Francis. Emily Francis, uh, graduate of the Police Foundations Program at Cambrian College. Emily Francis. <laughs> Jody Friesen. Jody Friesen, Visual and Creative Arts uh, through Sheridan College. Mary Gayash. Mary Gayash, Heavy Equipment Operator Program. Uh, that is through the Transport Training Center of Canada. Mary Gayash. Jessica Galley. Jessica Galley accepting on our behalf is Sheila Heald. Uh, Jessica graduated from the hairstylist program at the Career School of Hairstyling. Jessica Galley. <laughs> Randall Godrew Jeffrey, AZ Professional Tractor Trailer Driving tra uh, Training Program, Northern Academy of Transportation. Uh, Al Elena Grayson, Ecology at the University of Calgary. Benjamin Jocko, Level 3 Apprentice, Carpentry at Cambrian College. Rachel Jocko, Rachel Jocko, a picking up on her behalf is Don Wemigwans. Uh, Rachel Jocko graduated from the Bachelor of Business Management at Cornerstone University. <laughs> Rachel Jocko. Ashley Jocko Mistansini, I think I said that right, Mistansini. Ashley Jocko Mistansini. Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, Nipissing University. Ashley Jocko Metansini. Metasini. Metasinine. Metasinine. I'm sorry. My last name is Anna Mikwan. I know the feeling. Anna Mikwan. Okay, Pelche. No easy. Uh, next on the list is Raylan Jackson from the nursing program at Georgian College, Raylan Jackson. Sky Johns, Master of Social Work at the Wilfrid Laurier University. Our valedictorian for this evening, Ms. Jocelyn Kogige. Program was the Applied Holistic Nutrition Program at the Institute of Holistic Nutrition. Oh, how about that? They're back to back in the program and they were valedictorians. Our next graduate is our other valedictorian, Tannis King, or is it Tannis King? Tannis. Tannis King. Tannis King, uh, Master of Public Health at the University of British Columbia. Pursuing medical school later on this year. Um, next, Animki Kostashin. Automotive Service Technician, Level 2 Apprentice to College. Jennifer Lalone, Collabor uh, Collaborative Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Institute of Sioux College. Kaylee LeBreton, Kaylee LeBreton, graduated from film production at Wingush Film Institute here on beautiful Manitoulin Island. 
making movies. Kayla's going to be making movies. Amber Lewis. Amber Lewis, personal support worker at Canador College. Amber Lewis. Jacqueline Lewis. Jacqueline Lewis, heavy equipment operator at the Transport Training Center of Canada. Jacqueline Myungwe, Indigenous Cook, pre-apprenticeship at Algonquin College. Callahan Myungwe. Callahan Myungwe, the NRPA 1001 Firefighting 1 and 2 program at the Ontario Fire Academy. Callahan Myungwe. Raul Mendomin, like that name, Raul. Raul Mendomin, carpentry renovation techniques uh, through Cambrian College. Raul Mindamin. Picking up on his behalf is uh, Stella Mindamin. Grandma. Is Jima. <laughs> Zachary Mindamin. Zachary Mindamin graduated from the Liberal Arts University Transfer Program at Seneca College. Zachary Mindamin. Andrew A. Mantwabi, Bachelor of Business of Administration, Laurentian University. Elijah Manitowabi. Elijah Manitowabi, Construction <laughs> Estimator from Mr. Canador College. <laughs> He's just a happy guy. Congratulations, Elijah. Uh, Honesty Mendamin. Honesty Mendamin, graduate from the Social Services Worker Program at Cambrian College. Man I had sweat in my eye. Honesty Manitowabi. Honesty Manitowabi. My apologies. My apologies. It looked. I think I need glasses. Don't tell my wife. Uh, Jamie Manitowabi. I should have said Mindamin Min just to keep it. Jamie Manitowabi. Honors uh, Bachelor of Commerce, Human Resource Manager, Lakehead University. Jamie Manitowabi. It's two years in a row I screwed up a name. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Lindsay Manitowabi. Lindsay Manitowabi. Practical Nursing graduate from Cambrian College, Lindsay Manitowabi. Nicole Matisse. Am I saying that right? Matisse? Matthias. <laughs> no, that's what it says here, Matisse. Matthias. Matthias? That's not what it says there. It's not the same as Ashley's. Uh, Bachelor of Science in Nursing in Nipissing University, Nicole Matthias. Matthias, see? <laughs> Matthias. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, next on the list is Madison McFarland. Madison McFarland. Madison, gra Madison graduated from the Early Childhood Education Program, the ECE program at Fanshawe College. Madison McFarland. Brian McGregor. Brian McGregor graduated from the Steam Fitter Level 1 Apprenticeship Program through Sioux College. Brian McGregor. Congratulations, Brian. Lanel Majaki. Lanell Majaki, graduated from the Adult Educator Certificate Inst uh, Program from Kenjage Winnipeg. Lanell Majaki. <laughs> Rebecca Miguans, Community and Justice Services through Algonquin College. Rebecca Miguans. 
Amanda Morin, Bachelor of Health and Sciences, University of Western Ontario. Cassandra Morrison, Corrections Officer from Corrections Services Canada. Uh, Alexandria Nakwagijic, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Alexandria Nakwagijic, Bachelor of Science in Nursing through Cambrian College. Nekoma Nakwagijic, Nekoma Nakwagijic Pre Health Science <laughs> Pathway to Advance through Georgian College. Take the money and run. Jacqueline Neshkoa. Jacqueline Neshkoa, Business Administration through Humber College. Jacqueline Ojig. Jacqueline Ojig graduated from the Behavioral Sciences Program through Seneca College. Jacqueline Ojig. Vanessa Omenica. Vanessa Omenica graduated from the Indigenous Theatre Program, Center of Indigenous Theatre. Natalie Ozomic Mishibanishma. That's not going to fit on a license. Natalie Ozomic Mishibanishma. She graduated from the Anishinaabe Early Childhood Education Immersion Program through Canada College and Kenji Gawin Institute. Institutes. Natalie Ozomic Mishibanishma. Natasha Ozominiki. Natasha Ozamaneki graduated from the Personal Support Worker Program through the St. Albert Learning Center. Natasha Ozamaneki. Ronald Ozamaneki. Ronald Ozamaneki graduated from the Economic Certificate Program from Ryerson Change School of Continuing Education. Picking up on his behalf is Mervyn Ozamik. Ronald Ozamaneki. Michael Oshkabases. Michael Oshkabases graduated from the introduction to audio engineering at the Nimbus School of Recording and Media in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. Congratulations, Michael. Brett Pongwish. Brett Pongwish graduated from the Machinist Level 1 Computer Numerical Control Operating Program from Naganan College of Applied Technology in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Brett Pongwish. Jenna Payette. Jenna Payette graduated from the Medical Office Administration Program from CTS Canadian Career College. Jenna Payette. Leanne Pelche. Leanne Pelche graduated from the Social Services Worker Program at Cambrian College. Picking up on her behalf is uh, Brandy Pelche. Leanne Pelche. Taylor Pelche. Taylor Pelche graduated from the Bachelor of Arts Criminal Justice Policing and uh, Police Foundations program through Nipissing University and Canada or College. Taylor Pelche. <laughs> Colton Pheasants, Heavy Equipment Operator Program through the Transport Training Center of Canada. Colton Pheasants. Carol Pitwanaquet. Carol graduated from the Funeral Services Education and Embalming Program through Humber College. Carol Pitwanaquet. <laughs> That's just because you got a check in there, probably. <laughs> Where was it now? Oh, here we are. Uh, Kirsten Petwanaquet. Kirsten Petwanaquet, primary care paramedic, Canada or uh, Canadian Career College. Moses Petwanaquet. Moses Petwanaquet graduated from the Heavy Equipment Operator Excavator Program at the Operating Engineers Training Institute of Ontario. 
Moses always has the cool glasses on this guy. Good job, brother. Moses was in my, uh, I took care of a youth program. I watched Moses go from 12 years old to this, so. Awesome. Yeah. I'm old. <laughs> That's Duke's joke. Uh, Sally Powell. Sally Powell graduated from the Small Business Accounting Program at Fleming College. Sally Powell. Alan Reckley graduated from the Basic Constable Training Program at the Ontario Police College. Alan Reckley. Caitlin Reckley. Caitlin Reckley, uh, the pers uh, graduated from the Personal Support Worker Program through Cambrian College. Picking up on her behalf is Shaylin Reckley. Caitlin Reckley. <laughs> Malcolm Reckley. Malcolm Reckley graduated, graduated from the Arborist Level 1 Apprenticeship Program through Humber College. Malcolm Reckley. <laughs> Naomi Reckley. Naomi Reckley graduated from the Master of Museum and Master of Information through the University of Toronto. <laughs> Naomi Reckley. Paula Reckley. Paula Reckley graduated from the Indigenous Teacher Education Program through Nipissing University. Paula Reckley. Samson Reckley. Samson Reckley graduated from the Industrial Mechanical Millwright Technician Program at Cambrian College. Tasha Richard. <laughs> Tasha Richard graduated from the Practical Nursing Program at Cambrian College. Tasha Richard. <laughs> Liberty Rivers. Liberty Rivers graduated from the Cook Level 2 program at the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. Liberty Rivers. Kyleen Robertson. Kyleen Robertson graduated from the Bachelor of Arts and Music program at Laurentian University. Connor Rogue. Connor Rogue, graduate of the Honors of Bachelor of Medical Science through Western University. Ramona Shawana. Ramona Shawana graduated from the Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Studies through Ryerson University. Ramona Shawana. Noden Shawanda, specialized history program through Algoma University. Shayeya Shawanda, graduated from the Pre-Health Science Program at Cambrian College. Alexandria Shawanaganabi. Alexandria Shawanaganabi graduated from the Dental Hygiene Program at Kenador College. Alexandria Shawanaganabi. <laughs> Candice Shigwaja. Graduated from the Medical Office Administration Program at CTS Canadian Career College. Sarah Soulier, I think I said that one right. Sarah Soulier graduated from the Engineer, Engineer Energy and Infrastructure Law Program at Osgoode Hall Law School and York University. Sarah Soulier. <laughs> Noah Soulier Lamb. Noah Sulye Lam graduated from the Police Foundations Program at Durham College. Noah Sulye Lam. Sherilyn Tremblay. Sherilyn Tremblay graduated from the Healthcare Aid Nurses Aid Program from the University College of the North. Picking up on her behalf is uh, Nancy Armstrong. David Trudeau. David Trudeau, uh, graduated from the Electrician Level 3 Apprentice Program through Georgian College. Uh, Kristen Wemig wants picking up on his behalf. 
Yeah, Kristen's mom. It just says Kristen on here. It doesn't say Kristen's mom. Oh, okay. Uh, Dustin Trudeau. Dustin Trudeau graduated from the hairstyling program at Sioux College. Dustin Trudeau. Congratulations. Joshua Trudeau Servage. Joshua Trudeau Servage graduated from the pre trace program at Cambrian College. Alisa Van de Brioque graduated from the Bachelor of Arts French major at the University of Fraser Valley. Martha Wabagijic. Martha Wabagijic graduated with honors Bachelor of Commerce Management degree from Fanshawe College. Martha Wabagijic. Martha is our, uh, one of our workers at the Board of Education. She works in our finance department. Everybody's really nice to her. <laughs> Brooke Wakagijic. Brooke Wakagijic. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Graduated from Lakehead University. Brooke Wakagijic. Tanya Leah Watts. Graduated from the Biomedical Science and Indigenous Studies program from Trent University. Last but not least, well, I think well, we have two more names on here. Kristen Wemigwans. Kristen Wemigwans, graduated from the Nojiak Kinomadwin Early uh, Native Early Childhood Education Program through the St. Clair College and Anishinaabek Educational Institutes. Pierce Wemigwans. Pierce graduated from the Electrical Level 1 Apprenticeship Program through St. Lawrence College, and his mom is here to pick it up. It's Dawn. Regan Wilkin, Regan Wilkin, uh, graduated from the Honors, uh, Bachelor of Honors Criminal Justice Program, Criminology Stream at Nipissing University, picking up is Emma Wilkin, Regan Wilkin. And last on the list, I think, is uh, Corey Young, Addictions and Mental Health Program through Canadian Career College. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present you our class of 2018 2019. So, we do have more awards to give away. You're not just getting those, there's a whole bunch of other stuff on here that we're going to get to. Uh, but we have a group of awards scholarships and bursaries. First of all, I'm just going to read through all of the names. If you hear a name called, just come on up. So, we'll start with the Dreamcatcher Awards. Natasha Cooper, Shauna uh, D'Antimo, Carrie Davis, Aaron Fairburn, Curtis Fox, Tawny Hume, Roxanne Mendomin, Jacqueline Ojig, Lauren Peota, <laughs> Peoti? Poeta. Poeta. Yes. That's not a name I don't normally see. Zachary Mendomin, I could say Shawanaganabi too. Uh, Zachary Mendomin, Ramona Shawana, Joshua Trito Servage. Dreamcatcher Awards. It's my bad. I brought everybody up all at the same time. I'm sorry. I own that one. This is only my second MC gig for the post-secondary, so I'm learning. Natasha Cooper. See, some of the names that are on here ain't highlighted. So that's why I read them all. 
So my bad. I don't think so, eh? Tanya Hume. Kerry Davis. Lauren. I'm a. He already told me Peota. Peota. Poeta. Poeta. See, it's the second time. Poeta. Shauna de Antimo. Nobody. Okay, three fires awards next. Joshua Biso. Joshua Biso. Three Fires Award. Oh, you got to come up here, buddy. Oh, there's two Josh Bissons. I guess I should have said Natalie Bisson picking it up. That's you? That's me. All right. My bad again. That's... <sighs> Tammy Bondi. Tammy Bondi picking up on her behalf is Bev. Tammy Bondi picking up a Three Fires Award. I see him getting up already. Lindsay Broussard. He's following along this program, people. Lindsay Broussard, Three Fires Award. He's a hugger. <laughs> I'm a hugger too, Lindsay. Okay, now hug everybody in there. <laughs> Be here all night. Uh, next on the list, Nicole Corbier. Nicole Corbier picking up a Three Fires Award. Austin D. Lulio. Michelle Elliott. Michelle Elliott. Uh, Ethan Caboni. <laughs> Ethan Caboni. See again, I'm highlighting. Yeah, can we do that? Like if I say a name and you know they're there, do that. Ah, scream so we know that they're here. Melissa Gravel. There we go. Melissa Gravel. See, now I know that they're here. Ryan McEwen. Richard Mitchell. All right, yeah, they're easier. Richard Mitchell. Picking up the Three Fires Award. Are you sure he's here? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Richard Mitchell picking up a Three Fires Award. Cristal <laughs> Womet. Cristal Womet. Jonathan Pelche. <laughs> ah, Jonathan's here. If you guys ever get a chance to hear Jonathan speak, recommend you take it in. Marcy Tabobanung. Marcy Tabobanung. Marcy picking up a Three Fires Award. They're posing too. Cute. When they're that small, eh? Charlene Webcomagut. Charlene Webcomagut. Charlene picking up a Three Fires Award. And finally on the list for the Three Fires Awards, Nagwagan Whitehawk Eshkabuk. Nagwagan. Oh, Nagwagan is here.
Congratulations, the Guagan. So those are your three Fires Award winners, everybody. <laughs> Part-time awards, uh, Nata Natalie Daniels. Natalie Daniels, a part-time award winner. Brandon Petwanaquit. Brandon Petwanaquit. All right, so uh, that, that does it for that portion. We're moving on to the special awards. Uh, we are going to start with the award for uh, a continuing student. This is uh, brought to us by AV, a and v Heating. Do we have a representative from a and v Heating? Oh, yeah. You were supposed to write that on this one, remember? We do actually have one more uh, award to give away. Uh, it is two. It is going from the Board of Education here in Okamakong. Uh, one for a college student, one for a university student. Uh, Adrian Pongwish. Adrian Pongwish. Adrian Pongwish. You're picking up an award from the Board of Ed here in Wequamkong. And the other award winner uh, through the Wakonkong Board of Education is Autumn Cooper. Autumn Cooper picking up an award through the Board of Education here in Wakonkong. Congratulations, Autumn. We'll move on to the special awards now. Uh, a and Heating gives this award to a student, uh, continuing student. That award is going to Christopher Cooper. Christopher Cooper is in the house. He's here. Congratulations, Christopher. John Mantwabi, you here? Nope. Department of Lands and Natural Resources has given away two awards. Uh, the first award is to a graduate in mining. Uh, one is in Fish and Wildlife Environment Forestry. The first one is awarded to Danielle Shawanat Trudeau. Danielle Shawanat Trudeau. Not here. Um, why does it say two? There's only one. Oh yeah, there's one on the bottom there. Okay. Uh, the next one is going to Nicole Corbier. She's picking up the uh, Department of Lands and Natural Resources Special Awards. Nicole Corbier. The Holy Cross Mission. This award is going to a continuing student. Our presenter is Marjorie Trudeau. Marjorie Trudeau, yeah. Marjorie Lumpy. Uh, and this award is going to Shane Bondi. Shane Bondi. Picking up an award from the Holy Cross Mission. Shane Bondi, are you here? Yeah, you can take it, Marjorie. Go ahead. Put it in the box on Sunday. <laughs> uh, the staff of non and Mental Health. Uh, they're giving away awards to students continuing in mental health and or social work. Our presenter is Diane Jocko. Diane is here. Uh, this award is going to Warren Manitowabi. The next one is going to, uh, this is for a student continuing in mental health and social work, to Paige Cooper. Paige Cooper. Nope. You can keep that one too, Diane. Uh, next award is from the Manitoulin Expositor. I did see Mr. Erskine here. You want to come and do it? Might as well, eh? You could take a selfie with your camera when you're a winner. Rebecca Watkinson. Rebecca Watkinson. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm sorry, Michael. I should have checked first. I'm sorry. 
Uh, next on the list is the Nguangamic Recovery Center. Uh, this award is uh, going to deserving students, social work, mental health, and addictions workers. Uh, this one is going to Jonathan Pelche. to let you in on something. They gave me what I thought was the master copy and that I thought these award winners, you guys didn't know, but they're right there on your program. I thought that you guys didn't know until I said the names. I think I did that last year too. Uh, Laurentian Business Products Award. This is going to a student in the business field. It is awarded to Lindsay Broussard. Woo! Lindsay Broussard, he was here. Did he take off? No, no, he's still here. More hugs. <laughs> it's five bucks, Lindsay. <laughs> All right, uh, the next one is to, uh, from White's Shell Garage. That's going to a student in the field of technology, and that's going to Jordan Lee Ferguson. Not here. Kong Tribal Police. This award is going to a graduate or somebody continuing in police foundations. And we have anybody here on behalf of the Tribal Services Police Program? Oh, and because they're not here. Uh, it's going to Randy Petwaniquit, anyways. Randy Petwaniquit. All right, those are our special awards. We're getting to our memorial awards. Uh, the Veronica Jocko Award. Uh, it's going to be presented by Diane Jocko. This is awarded to a graduate in nursing. This award is going to go to Nicole Mathis. Nicole Mathis. Mathias. Poeta. Mathias. Mistassanine. Mathias. Mathias. It sounds like a first name. I'm sorry again. All right, uh, Diane, you're staying on the stage because this is the Arthur, jo Arthur Jocko Senior Award. Uh, this is presented by Diane Jocko, like I said. Awarded to a student in Police Foundations is going to April Pongwish. April Pongwish picking up the Arthur Jocko Senior Award. I'd like to call up uh, Jacinta Manitowabi. Jacinta Manitowabi is going to present the Agatha Manitowabi Award. This is going to a student who is uh, continuing in Anishinaabemowin. This award is going to Mishin Miguan Shawanda. Mishin Miguan Shawanda. I'm sorry, Jesse, I think I called you up here and he's not even here. Oh, he's unable to. I'm sorry. I did that to you and Michael. Sorry, guys, uh, but the award is going to, uh, like I said, Mishin Miguan Shawanda. Uh, oh yeah, you got two of them up here. So you could just stay right there, Jesse. This is the David Mantwabi Award. It's awarded to a student in environmental studies. It is going to Nicole Corbier. Nicole Corbier. She's right there, just like that. There's uh, Shirley Hamilton here. Yes, she is there, Shirley. Staple in our community here, Shirley. Shirley is here to hand out the Don Hamilton Memorial Award. This award is uh, going to a student in the field of education. And this award this year is going to Honesty Manitowabi. <laughs> Honesty Manitowabi. I said it right that time, by the way. And Marjorie, you're still here? Marjorie's still here? Marjorie, uh, if you can come up, you're going to do the next award. Uh, and Shirley, we did give away one award, but there's another one, but she's not here. This award is going out to uh, Christina Kozia. But she's not here, so. 
Move on to the next award is the Mr. Francis Raymond Trudeau Award. This is going to a student who is in business. And Marjorie Trudeau, you're presenting this award to Linda Trudeau. Linda's here. Yeah, Linda's here. Congratulations, Linda. Linda recently took over the, uh, the lead role at the Bajamajig Theatre Group. It's a tough position. So good job, Linda. You were sitting beside Lindsay too. Was that your plan? If I, if I had longer than Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next on the list, uh, this award is going to is the Paul M. Williams Award. Uh, it's going to a student who is in sports and or recreation. It's going to Jamie Mater. Not here. And the other one, uh, the Paul M. Williams Award, going to Roxanne Mendamin. Roxanne Mendamin. We could have had it. It doesn't say anybody presenting. <laughs> and uh, next one on the list is Mose Guy Moses Trudeau. This is going to a student who lives a land based lifestyle. This is going to Taylor Trudeau. Taylor. <laughs> Taylor Pelche. That's number four. If I screw up one more time, I'm leaving. Taylor Peltier. I'm human. Sort of. Uh, Board of Education. Oh, yeah. Go for your picture. Can never have enough pictures. And we'll come and come Board of Education Awards. Uh, we have two of them here. Okay. Is that what messes up? Holy smokes, we're done. All right. Well, on behalf of everybody standing up here on the stage, <laughs> congratulations to everybody who got an award. A big round of applause for everybody picking up those special awards and bursaries. We all know that money comes in handy before Power Weekend, that's for sure. So before we let everybody go, we have some closing remarks from some of our dignitaries. Uh, so before we go, I'd like to uh, call up Colleen Wasagijic Miguans to give us some closing remarks. And uh, after that, we'll hear from our Director of Operations, Mr. Kevin Wasagijic. So uh, give it up for Colleen Wasagijic Miguans. Honey. <laughs> Ezt a gimamik talk, on the skinny quirk, aber kidot. De boy, we know kinewe. And um, for us that have gone through post secondary, we all know the hardships that they talked about. But it's so awesome to be able to be here to, to celebrate with them, to have the community celebrate with them. And um, I'm so happy to see the woodland motifs on the outside of our hall here and um, more and more we reclaim who we are and um, education also helps with that and um, the training and um, the connection Kinagawaya, whether they be living on reserve or off reserve Miigua, they have their connections to home through education and training so, miigwech to all of you for allowing us to celebrate with you, enjoying in your victory, and uh, just before one of our proudest weekends. Thank you. Miigwech. Miigwech, Colleen. I have a question for all of you in the audience. Is it okay? Yep. 
So uh, before we continue, I'd like to invite our Director of Operations, uh, Mr. Kevin Masagija, to give us some remarks. First, I again want to congratulate all of the uh, graduates, the award winners that are here uh, this evening, and acknowledge all the families of, uh, of all of you that are here. I walked in uh, to the gym this evening, and it was great to see it uh, full house, and uh, it's a sign of support for, for all of our, our graduates that are here, and for all of our students and, uh, and future graduates that, that are to come. So it's, uh, it's a proud day in Lukwemko, and I'm uh, really looking forward to watching all of you grow in your careers, um, we have some, some interesting jobs posted right now, so hopefully see some of the resumes come across my desk. Hope everybody has a great summer. Be well. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2018, 2020, want to do that thing? Mike probably wants to get a picture of that, and probably your family does too, so. It's what you live for, this is why you graduate to, so you can throw that hat in the air. So if you're a family member who didn't take your picture, we'll do this and do our traveling song. And we can all have some cheese and cold drinks together. Okay, you guys ready? You guys ready? Cameras are ready? We'll count it down. Five, four, three, two, one, go! We'll get uh, to give us a traveling song uh, so that we can all get home safe and sound. So if you can just stay where you're seated. And, uh, we're not leaving yet. We've got one more thing to get to. A traveling song from Danielle McDonald so we can all get home safe. So Danielle, sing loud and proud.